so I do have a couple people help a couple uh, helping me today um, introduce you to them they're not really doing all that much this is Noli hey Noli pretty much the sweetest dog in the whole world and then over here is Spencer pretty much the troublemaker in the whole world but he means but he means well so anyway they're not, as you can see, they're not really helping. You know, they're just kind of lounging out. And it's cold down here. It's in the 60s. <laughs> All right, so I got I got the new plywood because <laughs> I had to replace it. Uh, just cut it, cut it to width. So they're all cut to width now. And so now I gotta cut these pieces right here. I was going to measure them out and uh, let's get started. So, so one thing I'm also doing as I cut these, so I don't forget what's what, and, you know, what sides up and everything. Uh, I mark every single one of them. You see that that's two A, and that way I know that's the piece in the in the um, directions. This name they call the directions, so I'm calling the same thing. Next board. This new jigsaw, it cuts such, so much straighter than my burned out poor Black & Decker. Of course, I think gave it its all, but um, this thing, that gun, it's, it's really nice. Size of the boats, boat. The side is comes out comes out of the point. This is for the stern, and then the bow. Of course, the bow should have a split up front. And the stern has a um, like a like a planing planing component to it. So it should have a point here, and this is the top. So it should be inside. And what I did was line these up, and I scarfed these bad boys as I lined up the point and the short end. The point. And the short ends. The short ends were together, and the points, the extended pieces, were together. So in essence, I had made it so it was. This came out here and went that way, exactly backwards. All right. So to make sure I don't do what I did last time, um, you know, learn from mistakes. Um, I got the I got the boards marked. So this guy S two B is going to connect S two A, and then I'm just going to put a big up. Oh, should I have any questions? I need my, my ones. I gotta move the bottom because I'm gonna line these the side panels since they're the same everything, and I need to scarf them all at the same time. I'm gonna line them all up on the table, so I gotta move the bottom. That's the bottom right there. This one is there. This one's gonna go this way like this. Woo! 
God, I just caught this. I was putting the two fronts together and the two backs together. All right, learn from your mistakes. And luckily, I didn't do anything yet. Ooh, that was close. I almost had one side was going to be six inches longer than the other. So just to show you what I was just about to do. So S1A and the other guy is the shorter one, that guy over there. And so two of the board, two of the boards are three inches shorter than the other two. So two are shorter than the other two. And I almost connected two small ones, but luckily I caught it. So hey, making progress, dude. All right, so I've taken everything down. Uh, now I'm going to pack in the bottom to finish the sides. Put them aside. Bum -bum -bum. And so now I'm working the bottoms. Um, where you see most of this core. I've gone ahead, laid out my cuts, laid out my arc points right there. And if you can see the nails, uh, lay out the arc points. And I got a batten I'll use to, to string those. So now basically it's just cutting this, cutting this guy right here. And um, this will be one quarter of the bottom, so time to get started. My uh, batten in place. I line up the nails and my reference points. So now it's just a matter. Let me mark and everything out. Try not to push the bat at the same time. There we go. Here's my here's my curve. Remove the nails. Start cutting. All right. So here's my scarf right there. I just scarf the well, scarf. It's not my scarf. This is my uh, plumb line or my batten line. Put the board around. Now it's time to cut it out. Go slow on this one. This board's getting expensive. Something I'm gonna do that I learned to do last time is because this weight will throw things off. I go ahead and just clamp the back end of this so it just kind of hangs on a little bit longer and doesn't twist the board. Hmm. So it occurred to me um, after I finished the first piece that I'm building the bottom of the boat, the back to the bottom part, and there's four pieces in each. Each pair is identical. Left or port, port, starboard port, starboard, you know, starboard aft, port aft, starboard bow, port bow. But the pieces are, are identical. So I was like, well, that gum it. So um, I could have, I could have just done both at the same time. I didn't. So now what I'm doing is I'm taking. This is the piece I just cut right here, and I am going to um, trace it out on the other piece, on this piece right here, and then um, I'll just cut it, and and we'll be done. And then the next one, the other two pieces, which are right here, here's the other, the, here's the, the two other two pieces I need to do today. Um, I'll just connect those together and do those at the same time. So I'm not gonna, everything in half the speed, half the time, pretty sweet. All right, well anyway, let me, uh, let me get done marking this out and um, cutting, and we'll go from there. All right, now just, whoops, knock off the edge. Like I said, here's the groove I just cut with the grinder, and now just knock this edge off. 
and then tune it down just to make it sure it's smooth. And we're done. I might even get a third cup of coffee off this one. Okay, I know I've quadruple checked my, my scarves and my points and my ends. I'm still really nervous. <laughs> I'm really like, okay, what did I, what did I do? What did I do? What did I do? Am I sure I'm I right? So I keep checking. I probably checked it now seven or eight times. I feel confident. <sighs> That's that first step, you know? Hmm.